What's up, members of the Barrio? It's John, coming to you from Grand Central Terminal. And sometimes when you live in New York City, you just want to escape the concrete jungle. So today, we're gonna to be showing you the ultimate day trip. We are going to Cold Spring, New York. We're gonna be doing an amazing hike, and we're gonna be showing you exactly how it's done. We've got a train to catch. Let's get it. Guys, we boarded the train and I am so shocked, maybe I shouldn't be, of how crowded it is and how many hikers are willing to wake up early on a Saturday morning in New York City. It's like a rush hour train. Love it. Made it to Cold Spring, some crisp fall air. So nice, ah, so nice. Somebody that I want to introduce you to. This is Jason, actually a viewer of this very channel. He's gonna be leading us on today's hike. What's up guys? Um, I contacted John a couple, uh, not too long ago. I figured it was a cool hike. It's 90 minutes from New York, from Midtown. So it's an easy hike. We'll take you step by step. Uh, I'll show you how easy it is, how easy it is to get up here, to get a break from just uh, the concrete jungle and get outdoors and uh, show that you don't have to worry about bears or anything like that, but it'll be fun. So come tag along guys. Jacob Carlson, you've up, probably man? seen him before. Jacob, you, you ready to go on this? Do what now? Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Oh hey. <laughs> no, I've actually I've actually hiked in this area a number of times. I love it. I haven't been here for like two years or so, so I'm really looking forward to it. So we just stopped in at this spot, Garden Cafe, got some paninis. We're gonna be Apparently stopping for a really nice lunch at a scenic point. Jason didn't give me too many details. We're just gonna find out as we do it. So we're walking to the trail about one mile from here. All right, guys, when you see Fair Street, when you're on Main Street, make a left. It's the only turn you really need to make. It'll take you straight to the trailhead. So make sure you follow that all the way to the end. You can't miss it. Don't get lost. We haven't even gotten on the trail yet. This is absolutely gorgeous, like really breathtaking with the, the change of season. Maybe we're a week or two early from the perfect fall foliage, but this is a nice change of pace from the city. I'll tell you that right now. So I get this question all the time about going outdoors is, uh, do I need to be afraid of bears? And the answer is no. Ticks is what you want to watch out for, so bring a good bug spray. You want to spray your ankles, spray your feet. They're really tiny. They're like a the size of a grain of pepper. You could turn this into hours and hours of hiking, or you could just do a straight forward and back, which is the first time. I say don't go too crazy on the first one. Try it out, see what's your comfort level, see if you like it, um, and just enjoy it. Um, just take the time to enjoy the time away from the city. Nice not having so many people around. I haven't been hiking since December, so <laughs> for me this is pretty cool. Definitely appreciate this maybe more than the average person since I live in one of the most congested cities, uh, at least in the United States. It's really unique. I like it because it's just like a field, like an open field in the middle of all these, these cliffs. It's really nice and peaceful and serene. I needed this. I have, we're gonna frolic, as Jason says. A lot of frolicking is about to happen. So this is starting to get a tiny bit more difficult than I thought it would be, but you know, we can handle this, I hope. So this is, I think, our first real scenic point of the hike, and you can see the Hudson River here. You can even see the train coming from New York City over there in the distance, and uh, we're going up, up, and up, so the view's only going to be getting better from here. So yeah, this is exactly what I was looking for. If you want to see John go on a backpacking trip from New York, this is a freeze-dried meal that he can use on a backpacking trip. You want to see it? Leave it in the comments. John, this is for you, my friend. Wow, thank you. Very generous of you. Never tried something freeze-dried before. I don't even know what that is. 
So we just finished lunch, got to fly the drone for the first time in like six months, which was incredible. And now, uh, what are we gonna do? So they hand these maps out when you start at the, uh, there's a ranger that hand these out. So we're on the Washburn Trail right about here. We're gonna loop up onto the Undercliff Trail. I'm gonna come all the way back down, it leads us right back into town. And then we'll take that right back to the train station. So this may scare you from coming here, but don't let it. So one time I was at a park close by and I was talking with some friends. We were camping out in the, in the woods and uh, I was talking, we were talking about which cereal from the 80s we wish would come back. And just as I was gonna put my foot down, my friend yanked me back, thanks Gray. Um, and right where my foot was gonna go was a rattlesnake that was coiled up. So cereal almost got me killed. What was the, what cereal did you want there from the 80s? Fruity Pebbles? Or? Oh, Pac-Man cereal. Come on. You just could look around and see how quiet it is, how nature just kind of disconnects you from just like all the, all the buzz and all the day-to-day -day stuff. The phones, the emails, the calls, the noise, the trains. It's just a way to kind of unplug and just kind of like recenter your mind and like just, you know, let your, your, your mind escape, your thoughts escape and just kind of like re reset yourself. So it's just a way to relax and take nature in. All right, so guys, quick tip. When you're going downhill, soft bend in your knees and just put your feet either on the rocks or dirt. Dirt and rocks are your friend, you get traction. Leaves like this, they can get really slippery. So if you see rocks and you see dirt, like these little patches here, your feet can dig into it. So soft bend the knees, lean back. Rocks or dirt will help you. I don't know guys, I think I finally found the, the solitude here I was looking for. I mean, you have all the leaves changing colors around us. It's nice and cool. It's so quiet. Yeah, this is um this is pretty cool. This this little spot alone has just really inspired me a bit to get back into nature when I can. You you spend too much time in New York City, you actually forget about stuff like this. And this is really not that far away. 90 minutes by train, that's it. So we've come out from the other side, it took about four hours, big loop. We also stopped, we filmed. I think you probably could do it in closer to three if you weren't taking so many breaks. Uh, you know, really, really nice. And now we're gonna cut through the town of Cold Spring. So you can definitely tell you're not in New York City when they have an honesty jar, $7 you leave and you, you take the honey. That's, that's very cool, <laughs> very cool. We're like in the late afternoon, we're back in town. So usually past like two o'clock, all the hikers, a lot of the uh, people from the city tend to pour into uh, the Main Street area. So like now you'll notice a lot more crowds, a lot more, uh, congestion in the restaurant, so now it'll be a little bit tricky to get something to eat. So just a heads up, the earlier you start, the earlier you finish, you can get ahead of the crowds. And a little inside the tip. It was pretty dead this morning, actually. So we really had this dream of drinking cold beers after our hike, but we don't know if it's gonna happen because every single place is super crowded with about 45 minute waits. Uh, so get some root beer. We're, yeah, we're holding out hope. Root beer? Really? We did eventually find a table, um, but they don't serve beer here, so we're just drinking Gatorade before the train, which is at about 10 minutes. I, after half of this Gatorade, I feel a little rejuvenated. I'm gonna stick around and do some antique shopping, specifically for old film cameras. How you feeling? Anything? Uh, I'm on a mission. Yes. I'm on a mission for a Philly cheesesteak and french fries. Right here. You gonna find it? Or not, maybe back at home. Yeah. And a sofa. And a sofa. That sounds good.
Shout out to Tim and Ashley. Thank you for supporting me on Patreon. Guys, I am beat. I am so tired right now, but this hike was totally worth it. Check it out. Just 90 minutes from New York City. Putting all the details down below in the description if you want to know exactly how we got this done. I'll make it real easy for you. Make sure to check out our other New York City playlists. Link down below as well. Guys, always a pleasure. Thank you so much for watching as always. Until next time. Subscribe. Subscribe.